What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today we're going to be taking a look at two of the India's first personalized phones from a not so familiar company called Branch Daddy. So I've been using these devices for more than a week now and thought this is the right time to review the phones. I did think of making two different videos for each of the devices but these are running the same exact software but just different hardware. So starting off with the design of the phones, to be very honest, it's very much different than any other devices on the market. The premium aluminum alloy on the sides and the leather back feels really, really good in the hand. Although I can't really make out if the back is real leather or not, but the feeling of it is really good. Now you may ask why are these devices called as the India's first personalized smartphones? It's because you can get your or anyone's name engraved on the phone itself. So below the camera where it says Branch Daddy, even below that you can get your name engraved just as shown in this picture. So that was all about the hardware. It's to be very honest a little thick to my taste but it feels really rigid in the hand just like if you had a case on. Also if you see other reviews on YouTube, many of them say that the screen on this device isn't smooth enough or the touch responsiveness isn't that good. It's just because the device comes with a matte screen protector pre-installed. So just remove it and then you'll get the smooth surface of the screen. So inside the hardware comes the not so good software. It still in 2017 is running on the Android 5.1 Lollipop which Branch Daddy claim is the advanced version of it. There are tons of features in this version of Lollipop but it comes with no option to update the software. When asked the company replied this version of Android cannot be updated because it's their advanced version of it. So my guess is this phone will live and die on Lollipop version itself. Also another thing this software lacks is an app drawer. So yeah, these devices have no app drawer. Also the icons are pretty weird, like the transparent squares aren't any good. So I thought of installing the Nova launcher and giving it more like a pixel launcher look and feel. But keeping aside all the negatives in the software, there are really a lot of things that if you use, will make using this phone a really pleasant experience. So there's this option called Smart Motion where you can unlock your device with just a wave over the proximity sensor. This option is very sensitive in my opinion and it got enabled in the pocket many a times. Then there's Smart Answer where you can directly pick up the call by putting it up to your ear or you can just wave on over the proximity sensor to pick up the call. Then there's Smart Switch, Smart Call, Turn to Silence which I never used because again they were too sensitive. But yeah, there's also an old feature in these devices called gestures. All the custom ROM users will be very familiar with this option. So when in gallery, just waving your hand over proximity sensor will skip to the next picture. Similar with the music and with launcher, also including the old school FM radio and videos. All the old Cyanogen mod users will also be happy as this device also has few of the wake gestures where you can double tap to wake, up to unlock, down to phone, left to previous song and right to next song. Also there's C for camera and E for chrome and so on. You can also customize these gestures or letters accordingly. The custom software also includes schedule power on and off where you can set a timer for the phones to go off and then turn on the next day. This is very helpful if you want the phone to have enough battery next day by turning it off at a particular time at midnight. Now coming over to the overall specs of these devices, the BD Magic supports a 4.7 inch IPS display with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage with the support of a micro SD card as well which comes free with the device itself but more on that later. It also has an ARM Cortex A5364 bit quad core processor with a 13MP camera and a 5MP front facing camera with a not so good battery of about 2200mAh. Whereas the BD Magic Plus supports a 5 inch IPS display with again 2 gigs of RAM and with similar storage, similar camera, similar GPU but with a whopping 3500 mAh battery. Also the display on these devices are 720p so yeah you don't get 1080p displays and you're limited to 720p itself. So speaking about the battery, the battery on neither of these devices lasted me an entire day. The older one with the 2200mAh cell lasted me with an SOT of around 2 hours 12 minutes and the one with the 3500mAh cell lasted me for almost a day with an SOT of around 2 hours 45 minutes to up to 3 hours. But Branch Daddy said that like every other device, these devices also take few days for the battery to be properly configured. So my battery usage for past few days was pretty good. 
Although these devices did not last me an entire day, but the standby time was very much improved. But again, I only used these devices for like a week. But my guessing is that if you use it for more longer time, the standby time and also the battery life will improve over time. But you know what's not terrible? is the RAM and the overall performance. So I did compare the device with the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 5X and again all these devices have 2 gigs of RAM but these two devices had a lot of apps kept in memory as compared to the Nexus 5 and Nexus 5X. So yeah the RAM and the overall performance I had a good experience in using these phones throughout. So Brands Ready also have their own service app where they provide service 24 by 7 with an option to make a call or other options such as their products an option to buy them and many more. They are calling it the world's first click to call app service where the customer can just hit a call and get in touch with the customer service. They also provide a door to door service where if the customer has any minor issue it will be solved by the customer care person paying a visit to the customer house where minor issues will take around an hour to get solved major issues will be solved within 48 hours. Now talking about the camera, the camera on this device is pretty decent in my opinion. Taking outdoor photos was a breeze, but the photos came out great with decent saturation but with not so decent dynamic range. The camera software is also basic with few basic effects on top. The photos again it took were decent in outdoor conditions but when in low light the camera does not do any good. The low light pictures are grainy with a lot of noise in them. So yeah the overall camera performance of this device isn't good. You can take a look at the camera samples I'll be displaying on the screen itself. So you can judge each and every photo as per you want. So yeah, again the overall camera performance of this device isn't good as compared to the price you pay. So talking about the price, the BD Magic if you buy it now will cost you around 15,000 Indian rupees whereas the BD Magic Plus will cost you around 16,300 Indian rupees depending on from where you buy it. So in my opinion in this price range, these devices can either be called cheap nor expensive. It's in a price range where other devices offer a single feature like camera, RAM, or even battery completely ignoring other features that people want. So unlike other devices, these two will provide you with a better performance, better battery and a decent camera with tons of features in the software. Although it's the older version but all the features and everything, you won't even find it in a Nougat ROM as well. You also get a few freebies with these devices itself like a 32 gig of SD card pre-inserted and also a not so good Bluetooth earphones but hey, it connects good works fine just doesn't sound good but again free is free so in that matter it works pretty decent so yeah that was my review on these devices the phones when considered the price aren't the best but when considered the looks and design they are in the league of their own so again that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video make sure to go crazy on the thumbs up button also just between you and me branch daddy are gonna release a bezel-less display device pretty soon so, yep, again, thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one.